Hi guys. So today what we are going to do is something exactly like what you did in geometry. Um, you may have actually seen this more recently, maybe with some SAT or ACT prep, um, but we're going to look at special right triangle ratios. So if you remember from geometry, there were two types of triangles that had a specific ratio for all of those sides. The first one was a 45-45-90 triangle. So another way you could say that is an isosceles right triangle. Um, so this was a triangle where you had two angles that were 45 degrees and a third angle that was 90. And if you remember correctly, the ratio of those sides was x, x, and x root 2. So the way that that works um, is across from the 45 degree angle is x, across from the 45 degree angle is x, and across from the 90 was x root 2. So what that meant, that ratio would be the same no matter what x was. So for example, if x were 10, then it would be 10, 10, 10, root 2. Um, so you can do whatever value you want there as long as it's always going to have that same ratio with that right triangle. Um, so the way that I'm typically going to write it, you're going to see you're going to see me make a little chart that kind of looks like this, and that's how I'll write it on here. So x, x, x root 2. All right, so then 30, 60, 90, um, if you had a triangle where one of the degrees was 30, the other one was 60, uh, and it had um, a ratio as well. So the ratio for 30, 60, 90 was x, x times the square root of 3, and 2x. So across from 30 was x, across from 60 was x times the square root of 3, and across from 90 was 2x. So that was the ratio of the 30, 60, 90 triangle. So let's look at a couple examples. So we'll start with some that are a little easier, and then we'll look at some that require some algebra. So um, the first thing we have to do here is identify what kind of triangle this is. So on this one, your angle is not listed. So if you wanted to, you actually could use Pythagorean theorem. Um, and if you did Pythagorean theorem, you'd end up with the same answer. But because those sides are the same, we know that those are going to be 45, 45. Another thing you may remember uh, from Algebra 1 or from Geometry is that the smallest side is always going to be across from the smallest angle. Um, so that's something you can also use. But this is a 45, 45, 90. It's an isosceles right triangle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this little chart. And this is how I do most of these. Now you don't have to use this method, but it helps me kind of keep everything lined up. So this is x, x, x root 2. And then I'm just going to fill in what I have. Across from 45 is 6. So 6 is going to go in the 45 column. Well, that means that x is 6. So if x is 6, replace x with 6. So across from 90 is 6 root 2. All right, let's look at example B. Um, the 9 root 2 is across from 90. So let's fill in our chart. This is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. The ratio is x, x, x times the square root of 2. So what we know, 9 root 2 is across from 90. So 9 root 2 goes there. So now we need to solve for x. Well, if 9 root 2 is equal to x root 2, x is equal to 9. So I then just fill that in. So across from 45 is 9. Across from 45 is 9. So my two missing sides are 9 and 9. So let's do something that require a little bit harder algebra. Okay, so this first one, this is still 45, 45, 90. So let's make our chart. So 45, 45, 90, x, x, x times the square root of 2. So 18 is across from 90, which means 18 is going to go in this box. So if I want to solve, x root 2 is equal to 18. So I'm going to divide by the square root of 2 on both sides. Now, if you remember from geometry, we don't like to leave that square root in the bottom. Um, the process that we use is something called rationalizing the denominator. So what we're trying to do is get the square root out at the bottom. The way we do that is we multiply the top and bottom by root 2. So that gives me 18 root 2 over 2. And if I want, I can simplify that because 18 divided by 2 is 9. So 9 root 2 is x. So I'll put that in my chart. So across from 45 is 9 root 2. Across from 45 is 9 root 2. All right, let's look at d. So same thing. Um, this time, though, I'm given what's across from the 45. 
So I'll make my chart 45, 45, 90. And this one's really easy to make a mistake on because you'll see that root 2 and you'll automatically assume that x is 4. But that's not the case because of where it is on our chart. 45, sorry, 4 root 2 is across from 45. So x is equal to 4 root 2. So I'm going to re uh, replace x with 4 root 2. So I'll do the same thing here. This is 4 root 2 times root 2. So 4 root 2 times 4 root 2, that's 4 times the square root of 4, which is 4 times 2, which is 8. So across from 90 is 8. All right, let's look at this last one. If you feel comfortable, pause the video, try this one on your own. All right, so 45, 45, 90, x, x, x root 2, 7 is across from 90. So 7 is equal to x times root 2. So I need to solve for x. So I'm going to divide both sides by root 2. So x is equal to 7 over root 2. We need to rationalize. So multiply the top and bottom by the square root of 2. And I get 7 root 2 over 2. So across from 45 would be 7 root 2 over 2 on both those 45 angles. All right, so we're going to do the same process. We're just going to look at a different ratio for 30, 60, 90. So 30, 60, 90. So one of these sides is filled in. So this one here is 30. Let's make our chart. So 30, 60, 90, x, x times the square root of 3, and 2x. So 4 is across from 30. So 4 is going to go in the 30 column. Well, this one's a little bit easier because now we know really clearly what x is. x is 4. So now let's replace it. So this is 4 root 3 across from 60. And this is 2 times 4, which is 8, across from 90. All right, let's look at B. Same ratio. This one's also a little bit simpler. So we've got 30, 60, 90, x, x root 3, 2x. Across from 90 is 10. So 2x is equal to 10. So x is equal to 5. Once we know what x is, let's plug it in. x is 5. So across from 30 is 5. X is 5, so across from 60 is 5 root 3. All right, and then the last of the easy ones, before we look at some of the harder ones. 30, 60, 90, X, X root 3, 2X. 12 root 3 is across from 60. So if X root 3 is equal to 12 root 3, X is equal to 12. If x is 12, across from 30 is 12. And across from 90 is 24. All right, so same thing, different. These ones are going to be a little bit harder on the algebra, though. All right, so let's try this next one. So again, this is 90, this is 30, so this is 60. So this is a 30, 60, 90. So my ratio is x, x root 3, 2x. So what we're given, 15 is across from 60. So 15 is equal to x times the square root of 3. So to solve for x, we'll divide by root 3. So I get that x is equal to 15 over the square root of 3. But again, we want to rationalize. So I'm going to multiply by root 3, top and bottom. So that gives me 15 root 3 over 3. And then I can simplify one step farther. 15 divided by 3 would be 5. So across from, well, let me go ahead and fill in my values here. x is 5 root 3. So if x is 5 root 3, across from 30 is 5 root 3. And if x is 5 root 3, 2 times 5 root 3 is 10 root 3. 
Whenever you multiply with radicals, any numbers outside the radical can get multiplied together and they stay outside. Any numbers inside the radical get multiplied together and stay inside. All right, let's look at another. Again, we'll redo our chart. 30, 60, 90, x, x root 3, 2x. So the 5 root 2 is across from the 60. So we'll fill in the 60 column. So x root 3 is equal to 5 root 2. So I'm going to divide by root 3. So x is 5 root 2 divided by root 3. We have to rationalize again. So I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by the square root of 3. So to multiply root 2 by root 3, the radicals, again, the outsides get multiplied together and stay outside. The insides get multiplied together and stay inside. So that is the value of x. It cannot get simplified anymore. So this is going to replace x. So I'll replace across from 30. And then I'll do 2 times that value. And remember, that's 2 over 1. So that's 10 root 6 over 3 across from 90. All right, last one. If you feel comfortable, pause the video. Try this one on your own. So x, x root 3, 2x. What we're given is the 90. Okay, I'll go ahead and fill in the missing angle. So across from 90 is 2 root 3. So 2x is equal to 2 root 3. So to solve for x, I would divide by 2. So x is equal to root 3. That means across from 30 is root 3. So then my 60 degree would be root 3 times root 3. Well, root 3 times root 3 is root 9. Root 9 is regular 3. So across from 60 is just regular old 3. All right, so that is it. Um, nothing different than what you saw in geometry. Hopefully just a little bit of review for you guys. Uh, we're going to move on to some more geometry next class.